Welcome to the uh, December edition of 71 Magazine. I'm your host, John Bryanton, and first we'd like to thank OMU for underwriting our segment. With me in the studio today is Sonia Dixon, who is the Communications and Public Relations Manager for Owensboro Municipal Utilities. Sonia, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Well, I'll tell you what, it's, it's December. It is. It's hard to believe. Uh, one of my favorite things to do, though, mm -hmm. in, in, in December, I'm not, I'm not really... Christmas is, is exciting to me, but not like it is to kids and things. Mm -hmm. But one thing that I really love doing is driving around and looking at the houses and how people have lit their houses up and mm -hmm. all the great decorating. Mm -hmm. So today we're going to be talking about the 2018 Golden Santa Award. Exactly. And exactly. so uh, this is sort of the, it's, a, it's an annual holiday lighting it contest is. that it goes is. on here. But let's first begin with, can you give us a little history of, about this contest and how it all got started? Well, you... You said it. It's much like most uh, several of us were driving home. You know, we are driving home at dark now. Right. So we're driving home and we were talking about changing our routes up um, so that we could see certain houses and see Christmas <laughs> lights and driving slower and, and all of that sort of thing. And then we all started telling each other about houses. Oh, did you see the one on the corner of here? Oh, did you see the one that lit, you know, so and so on the roof? The one with Santa coming down the chimney, you right. know, all of those things. And then we got to talking about the fact that. You know, we are an electric company, mm -hmm. and um, and we're lighting those homes. How fantastic is that? And so, so we put together a contest. We joined together with the city and decided that it was time to recognize those people who get on ladders yeah. the day after Thanksgiving and start working to hang all of those lights and plan them out and do all of this amazing work so that we can have pretty drives home. And you know, drive. Uh, my family we like to drive around Christmas Eve right. and and look at Christmas lights to get the, all the kids good and sleepy. Um, so you know, it has such a tradition for so many people we thought how fun would it be to, to give away an award every year no it's a fantastic mm -hmm, idea mm -hmm. and really and and I've never been one to really do a lot of decorating like that mm -hmm. uh, but I have neighbors that go all mm -hmm, out and it's mm -hmm. a major ordeal to it's, get all these lights up we're not just talking about lights around your front door we're talking mm -hmm. about lights all around the guttering all up on the roof and you know I, I was driving home as a matter of fact last night and I noticed someone had done every single tree in their yard <laughs> and I mean and not just with a few lights I mean they were full of lights and I thought all of that work but how wonderful that you know I was able to drive by on my way home and see right. how beautiful this yeah. house looks. Well let's start out why mm -hmm. don't you tell us a little bit about this year's contest? Well we um, we take nominations we take self nominations as well you know if you've done all that work and yeah. you think wow I want to be a contender we take nominations by calling OMU or also calling the city we prefer that you you um, enter those nominations on our website at omu.org we're going to take those between now and the 12th okay. and we'll be judging on the 17th and and for um, OMU we'll be honoring the winners at our um, December the 20th uh, commission meeting um, and then the city will also be contacting the winner about the date for them to come to that meeting um, but what's really neat about it is um, you know we have judges from both organizations and then we get mm -hmm. together and we we come up with the winner but what's cool is that we don't want to just say hey you're the winner this is fantastic we give you a $250 OMU gift certificate Excellent. so that um, helpfully helps offset a little bit of the cost <laughs> that you've taken on for for all of this display. Mm -hmm. We give you a lighted sign because um, we want you to be able to announce that you're the winner right. of this contest. And it's interesting that we've been doing this so many years that I see those signs around town now because people are very proud to have won, which yeah. is great. And the other thing is we have some professional photographs taken of your home. It's really hard to get good photographs of your home with just a regular camera or your iPhone. Mm -hmm. So we have professional photographs and we give those to you. You know, and we give you lots of bragging rights on social media. The newspaper usually covers that. Other media cover, cover it and that sort of thing. Yeah. So it's a lot of fun. We want to give you plenty of kudos for doing all that work. Yeah, that, that is, that mm -hmm. is a lot of fun. Now tell me, mm -hmm. how are the judges chosen? This, the, it's got to be top secret. Oh, I'm it's sure. top secret. I, I, you know, we <laughs> we have a group from each organization, and we um, we stock them with hot chocolate and send them out. And uh, and it's difficult. Trust me, it's very difficult. They take lots of notes. They go through that, and and we put our heads together and we choose a winner. Okay, um, mm -hmm. let's uh, let's move on. Let's talk about this wonderful partnership that mm -hmm. OMU has with the Salvation Army right. uh, for the Community Cares Program. Right, for, for quite a while now, um, for as long as I can remember, um, OMU has made a contribution to the Salvation Army. Mm -hmm. All of that money, 
um, all, every single dime of it is used to help um, customers that are struggling to pay their OMU bills. So what's great about that partnership is that the Salvation Army has the tools and the mechanisms and the personnel that are able to vet um, that process. Mm -hmm. And so we can refer customers to them and they're able to get assistance through the Salvation Army. Um, but, you know, we had a lot of people that said, hey, I'd like to help or I'd like to round up on my bill. Um, how can I do that? Um, so we built in a mechanism um, on your bill. You should do it online when you pay online or when you pay by check or however you do it, mm -hmm. where you can designate an amount. You can round up, you can put, um, you know, a round amount. You can say, I'm going to do $25 this month, 10 next, um, you know, however you want to do that. Those funds, all of those funds, there are no administrative fees, are added to those that we donate to the Salvation Army and okay. they're distributed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, that is very true because at this time of the year, you know, we've got heating bills mm -hmm. and things of that nature. And some folks may not have the most insulated home. Mm -hmm. And so these bills can get very high sometimes. And, and this is a great way, I think, to, to reach out and help your community, right. you know, kind of indirectly. You exactly, know. exactly. And you know, um, you know, a lot of people feel a lot of financial pressure mm -hmm. around the holidays. Um, and um, and we understand that. And, and you know, it's something we think about year round. We have uh, we have people that, that donate annually or even a lump sum or, or, or donate monthly. But we think about it particularly around Christmas. And I think right. a lot of that has to do with the weather. Um, people do see some increased bills due to their furnaces running so much to keep up with the, the cold weather. And it's just an opportunity to help help others in a very simple a very simple way. Now the, the mm -hmm. community cares program is it just for Christmas or is it for oh, year round? Oh it's all year round it is all year round um, because certainly those funds can accumulate mm -hmm. um, and uh, yes you can give any time we just happen to be talking about it this time right. of year. Okay well listen mm -hmm. how about if I would like to personally help maybe a family member or even mm -hmm. a neighbor mm -hmm. maybe even discreetly or mm -hmm. how, is that possible? There are lots of ways you can do that we've talked about gift certificates before mm -hmm. you can send in a gift certificate anonymously to someone if you choose for whatever amount. You can come in and talk to our customer service group. We can't share personal information about right. that account, but we can let you pay toward that account um, if you'd like to. Um, so there are lots of ways that you can help. And I think that's a wonderful way to pay for something that someone is already having to pay for, right. um, you know, and offset some of their costs in some way. And we do have people do that pretty regularly. Well, that is that that mm -hmm. is fantastic. Another thing, Sonia, is, mm -hmm. you know, whether people own their own home or whether they're mm -hmm. renting, OMU provides wonderful and lots of very valuable tips as far as how to be more efficient mm -hmm. in your energy mm -hmm. use and so forth. How can they get that information? Well, a lot of that information is at OMU.org. Mm -hmm. um, certainly you can call in and talk to a customer service representative at 270-926-3200. And what's great about our website is not only do we have a section for homeowners, because you can make some investments in your home, mm -hmm. but we also have a whole set for renters that we were talking about earlier, where you can't necessarily go in and insulate or, or you can't replace your furnace and those sorts of things. But there are some really great tips to help you try to manage um, your utility bill throughout throughout any season. We're talking about winter right now, but out throughout the summer as well. Right. Well, listen, mm -hmm. Sonia, thanks for joining mm -hmm. me. Thank it's, you. It's great having you on here. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, again, thanks for OMU okay. for underwriting this segment. Mm -hmm. And uh, to all of you out there, um, if you would like additional information about what we've talked about, you can always uh, call OMU at 926-3200, uh, or you can go to their website at omu.org. Listen, on behalf of everyone here at OCTV and OMU, we wish you and your family a safe and happy holiday season, and we'll see you right back here next year.